Good morning, and welcome back to Quitting Weed. This is Quitting Weed number six. The relapse continues. I, uh, I decided to quit smoking weed uh, seven days ago. And for six days, I've been documenting my my journey to sobriety and uh, sharing, you know, I went through all kinds of withdrawals and, and I was already depressed, but uh, it really, really hurt. It really made the depression worse when I quit smoking weed, but I, uh, I wanted to do, I wanted to do something to help myself. And I thought, I thought the weed was making things worse. So after a week of sobriety, a narcotics anonymous meeting, you know, um, no sleepless nights, but, you know, I was essentially ill for a week, flu like symptoms. You know, the runs and the cold sweats, you know, all the depression, the irritability, <laughs> you know, just everything. I finally relapsed by, because I, I, I scraped some resin, you know, that goo in the pipe. I thought to myself, well, I'm going to throw away the pipes. I'm never going to smoke again. So I'll just scrape some resin, throw it in, smear it into some tobacco. And then maybe if I'm finding myself really tempted, I'll just, you know, smoke a little resin with my tobacco and that'll get me, you know, maybe that'll take the edge off. Scrape some resin, took one hit <laughs> and then was like, uh, crap. I just relapsed. Went for a long walk. When I came home, my dealer had messaged me, telling me he had a bag for me. And I was like, okay, I'll be right over. And I bought another bag. I came home, and I smoked it. And it was like my depression just lifted. I even went through like a, a spiritual crisis again, but a real one during my withdrawal week because I was praying a lot and I was asking God to help me you know overcome my my horrible addiction and to endure the withdrawal symptoms and I wasn't hearing anything and I was I was feeling I don't know I was feeling like he didn't care and I was like come on and I even, I even went, you know, I went hardcore. I prayed and I prayed and then I wrote down. And the Bible says, if you pray in the name of Jesus, he will, you know, answer your prayers. Knock and the door shall be opened. So I did that. I wrote it down. I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, please let me know that you're listening. Let me know that you care. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. I don't even know what that is, but do it. Do something. Help me. And I heard nothing and I got really frustrated and I felt alone. And so when I, when I got high for the first time after a week, it was, it was really a nice experience. My depression lifted. My anxiety went away. I felt really creative and motivated again. And last night we did a, a Buju Nana Buju episode where Nana Buju and Natasha talked about love medicine or weed. And it was one of the best shows we'd ever done. <laughs> and afterwards, I thank God for coming through for me. I was no longer mad at him. 
and I realize I don't understand how he answers prayer and I don't understand how he speaks to me but I love it when he does so give me Jesus <laughs> all right so I don't know I don't feel guilty or bad or I mean I guess I'm a failure in my road to sobriety so far but this has been Quitting Weed, number six, The Relapse Continues by Michael Lyons. Thank you so much for listening. Miigwech, God bizzendawieg. And I will see you again. Kikawabamin, minawa. In the morning when I rise, in the morning when I rise, in the morning when I rise, give me Jesus, give me Jesus, give me Jesus, you can have this whole world, give me Jesus. When I am alone, oh, when I am alone, when I am alone, give me Jesus, give me Jesus, give me Jesus, you can have this whole world, give me Jesus. was a dancer, I was young once like you, though I know I don't look it. I jumped high as the sky and I had fire in my eyes and legs like a stallion. And I had a girl and I loved her. My best friend was her brother. We were on top of the mountain that summer, thought we'd never be swallowed by the cracks, falling so far down, like the rest of those clowns making bus fare back. And swallowed by the cracks, our pride worn down, talking times gone by like everybody else, swallowed by the cracks, swallowed by the cracks, we've been swallowed by the cracks. We talk all night about what we could do if we would just get started. I'd choreograph Eileen, she would act, and Stephen was the writer. But then Stevie ran away and got bored. Eileen took a job in a store, 
And I became a drunken old whore And we'd been swallowed by the cracks Falling so far down Like the rest of those clowns Making must fare back Swallowed by the cracks Our pride worn down Talking time's gone by Like everybody else Swallowed by the cracks and Swallowed by the cracks We'd been swallowed by the cracks Maybe it ain't over, I can see it's up to me You're only out when you stay out You stay out cause you don't believe We could drive around in circles Getting nowhere all night long Getting drunk with strangers Telling lies and singing along To the jukebox, baby Swallowed by the cracks, our pride worn down Talking time's gone by like everybody else Swallowed by the cracks, our pride worn down Talking time's gone by like everybody else Swallowed by the cracks Swallowed by the cracks We've been swallowed by the cracks Swallowed by the cracks